Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at how to use cutaways in iMovie 09. So I love cutaways in video. A cutaway is when you're talking and you're on camera and then you describe something. So you cut away to a picture all at the same time the audio remaining constant and then after done showing the picture you go back to the person talking. So it's one continuous audio shot but you splice in a new picture in the middle of it. I used it a lot when using iMovie 06. You could do it through some tricks there and then you couldn't really do it very well at all in iMovie 08. But iMovie 09 now adds it officially as a feature. Let's go and take a look at how to do it. So here I am in iMovie 09. Now I've got some video here where I'm talking about a picture I took of the city of Denver and I'm going to splice in that picture as a cutaway uh, as I'm talking. First thing I need to do though is go to iMovie Preferences and in Preferences there's an option for Show Advanced Tools. I'm going to make sure that is on. Now that I've got that on I'm going to go and select this clip here and drag it into my project. Now right about here is where I start talking about the photo. The city park uh, area. And I'm going to go ahead and want to insert that photo here. So I'm going to drag it from the finder. Now I am dragging it from the finder here and I'm going to actually drag it on top of the video. I don't have to worry about exactly where it is. Uh, I can adjust it later. Drop it in and I get several different items here. The third one is cutaway. I'm going to select that. Now when I do I get it inserted but you can see it's above the main video here and I can adjust it. I can lengthen it. I can move the beginning. I can also go ahead and do clip adjustments, video adjustments and cropping. I definitely want to do cropping. And over to the right here I can see that it's, by default it's set to a Ken Burns style thing. So as I go ahead and play it here I can see that I'm talking and then there it is and it's kind of moving inward uh, in the Ken Burns effect. I want to go ahead maybe and turn that off. Uh, I can set it to fit or crop. Um, I'm going to set it to crop. There I go and now it'll stay steady. Another thing I can do with clip adjustments is I can go ahead and set a fade. So I want to do a manual fade of half a second. So instead of just abruptly appearing right there it'll slowly fade in like that. And the same thing it'll slowly fade out. So the audio remains the same but the picture is spliced in with the video right there and then spliced back out. It's a very nice effect. You can add as many photos as you want. It's a great way to do a narrated uh, guide through some of your photos uh, with video of you talking as well. There are also all sorts of other things you can do with it. For instance you could take home movies that you've got and the photos you took on the same trip or with the same event and go ahead and splice them all together creating say a 10 minute video but also showing some of your favorite photos of that event uh, in the same video. So give cutaways a try in your next iMovie project. Until next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.